My name is Humphrey Mieno, Task FC midfielder and captain of the team. So far this season has not been uh, that good and not that bad as well. But I can say we are just progressing well and uh, if we are focused enough, I think we're going to do better than we are doing currently. We've been having tough matches. You can see we come in uh, from a, a goal down, trying to equalise, trying to chase the match. So it's been a, bit, a little bit difficult. But I think uh, going forward, we're going to register better results and we're going to work on that and do a little bit better. As a captain of the team, I think you have a massive responsibility in terms of trying to push the team to work in the way the coach wants and to try in a way to help and motivate the team to better results. And also, you know, you also have the, the young lads whom we also need to be talking to all the, each and every time because some of them have never been in such kind of positions. So it's really, sometimes it's really massive to have such kind of responsibilities on your shoulders that I think come up to the task. So far, on my end, it has been good. Most recent, we also had a visitor who came to, to our grounds and also to, to, to see the Kenyan Premier League, uh, the likes of Adebayo, one of the best in, the, in Africa, one of the best footballers of his time. And I can say he had some very encouraging and positive words for me. And I did not take that for granted because to have such a guy uh, utter such words is really encouraging and really positive. Personally, my expectations, I think, is to try and guide the team to another title. We are still the cup holders and we want to retain our title. So I think, first and foremost, that is, our, that is my main and the team's target and hopefully by the end of the season, we'll be playing in the CAF matches because I think that's where we need to showcase our potential and uh, our talent. I think that's where the big lads are and that's where we need to be. I think we have so many players who have stood out this season. We have the likes of Shami, we have the likes of the young lads who just came from, from school just the other day in, uh, in Odoyo. He just came from Green Commandos and you can see he's also commanding a starting bat in the team. So that's really encouraging and really positive. Uh, we also have Puire in goal, for, because right now after the departure of Matasi, he's now taken over the reins and I think he's doing a really commendable job. My football journey started by, way back in 2008, where after finishing high school right from Parklands High School. So I've been, I've been in the game for quite some time. And it's been a really, it's been a roller coaster for me. But I can say the highlight of my career is basically when I and I won, when I first won the Kenyan Premier League because it was a, an, a title that I really wanted to win and it had evaded me for so long. Individually, I've had a, a good run. I can say I've won personal personal accolades as much as I've won uh, team accolades. The one moment that stands out is really winning the double double with Tasca. Uh, back in 2016, I think that's the biggest highlight of my career. To our fans, who have always been uh, behind the team, rallying behind the team, supporting us even when we are down. We like appreciate whatever you guys do for us. The support it really pushes us to do better than we can. And uh, we're also hoping that when we resume back to the Premier League, that you guys are going to come and cheer us on to win more, to win more matches. And to also one of us who is in the national team, in Daniel Sakari, also hope that we also gonna come in numbers and try and support one of our own who's also in the team, because it's also massive to see one of us being in the national team, doing the national team jerseys, and uh, I think it's also a positive step. And uh, I'd like all of us to try and support the national team and support Tasca as well.